Welcome to Vanity's Kitchen. Uh, today we're going to be cooking Jake's dinner for you. It's East Coast meal uh, made by not only East Coast people but anyone that enjoys that type of meal. Um, I'm going to show a few ingredients that we, we use, traditionally use. Savory we use for our dressing, uh, stuffing for inside of our chicken, which we're going to be cooking chicken today, not a roast. The split peas uh, that you can get in any uh, grocery store and that we're going to be putting it into a cotton bag that's traditionally known as uh, Newfoundland tradition pudding bag and for Newfoundland pudding. And then on this side we got our vegetables already cut up and it's serving of, for six people, family of six. And that's one cabbage, uh, full medium turnip. It's about six to eight carrot, and I, I get eight potato, but you can always do more if you want uh, two potatoes per serving. We got our pickled, salt pickled uh, beef, and you can also have salt pork. You can get it in most grocery stores. Um, if you know any um, East Coast people, just ask them and they can help you. Um, so I'm gonna put about say about a cup of peas go a little bit more. into my bag and add it that is up enough where the peas can swell because once it's into your boil you it tends to grow so and it gets pretty pretty big so I'm gonna put the salt beef and a peas pudding, which we got there into our already part boiled water. Just down there. And when you put your pea bag into the water, make sure it's kind of on one of the pieces of salt beef because you don't want it lying on the bottom of your pot and hanging off the side and then put your cover not all the ways on, have it lifted a little because once it starts to boil you're going to uh, have uh, a lot of, you know, boiling and it could go over and you don't want that to happen. So what we're going to do next is uh, our dressing, our stuffing for our chicken. So we got about two cups of grated fresh bread or, well I should say stale bread but it's from your fresh bake. And then we're going to use the savory, which is shown there. I'm going to use about probably three teaspoonfuls, because I like a little bit more savory. I'm going to use a teaspoonful of salt. I'm going to grate about, again, maybe just, just enough to season. You don't need a whole lot of pepper on this. You enjoy that. I'm going to have two tablespoonfuls of butter and about two tablespoonfuls of chopped onion. So I'm going to mix this together real quick. So this is going to be our stuffing for our roasted chicken. You can also use um, a roast instead of a chicken and you don't even have to have any at all in shapes of meat. You can have just the, the potatoes boiling and your vegetables. Sounds like our oven is ready to go. But the reason for us doing chicken, because I want to make gravy with my jigs dinner. So as you can see, stuffing is ready. I'm going to take a piece of paper towel. It's already cleaned. My I'm rinsed. I just want to pat some of the moisture out of the inside of this chicken just to make it a little drier. So now I'm going to stuff our chicken. Put as much as you can into this chicken there. Again, it's up to you how much you want and no less. So also with your vegetables, 
um, it don't go until the second portion of uh, your boiling of your salt beef and peas because you've got to let your salt beef and peas go for at least an hour and a half until the salt beef is almost boiled and almost cooked. I'm going to bring this chicken over to move this over here into my container, my roaster I should say. I'm going to get a cup of chicken broth. You can use, again, whatever broth is good for you. I'm going to use just a little bit of salt. The rest of my onion, which is probably three tablespoonfuls. I'm just going to rinse my onions in it. I don't want to get that pepper put on there. Could be a messy, messy meal trying to put together, but you want to to keep it as clean as possible. So again, some more pepper. I like lots of pepper, of course. It's what your chicken will look like before it goes into the oven. At 350 degrees, um, probably two hours for your roasted chicken. I'm gonna keep the cover on it first, and then part ways through, I'm gonna take it off and let it go golden brown. Um, on our next segment of uh, Jig's Dinner, I will show you when the, the beef comes out and what our next portion is. So stay tuned for our meal, Jig's Dinner. <laughs>